Hi, Water Signs. It's Elle here to do your weekly read. Um, I'm going to break it down for each Water Sign. So I'm going to start with Cancer. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all the likes, shares, the comments, the subscriptions. It means a lot. Thank you to those who have requested readings. Go over to my website, send me an email. You can request a reading that way. Make sure you're commenting below. So we're going to do a three card spread with one angel answers card. Let's see what we have for the week for Cancer. Cancer's been trying to get away, trying to leave, trying to make something happen with whomever. Yeah. Ten of Wands has kept popping out of the deck for you off camera. You guys are going to lay down this burden, whatever it may be. It may be that you have taken on too many projects, either at work or there's a burden within a, a certain relationship, family, romantic, ten of swords, yeah, seven of pentacles, four of cups. Some of you are just going to end something. Uh, really jump into it and end it. You can, you can take this, you can't take this energy any longer. You could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You feel backstabbed and or betrayed or vice versa. Um, you're looking at the past anyhow. What you've invested elsewhere with someone else. You're also waiting for someone here. Either Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Or someone who, sh who resonates in that energy. Um, you're bored where you are. Some of you had an epiphany about someone from the past. At first you were not taken to the cup that was being offered. Maybe from this person or vice versa. They weren't taking, it to, taking the cup from you. But now you see exactly what this person means or this opportunity means for you. And you want to go back. Now you're resonating with this energy from the past. And you're waiting for the opportunity. You're laying down burdens in the present ending situations and and trying to get to a place of being able to offer or accept a cup let's get an angel answers deck here i mean angel answers card from the deck how about I just give you the whole deck this one's <laughs> it's late guys it's really late let's see All right. okay be assertive nice and that's definitely with two tens here ten of sword ten of wands be assertive you know don't be passive in the way of cancer is passive in a way of manipulation of trying to leave the door half cracked half open so you can come back if this doesn't resonate for you if this doesn't work out for you whatever you're trying to get to but be assertive and knowing that you, you're not happy where you are, you're bored where you are, you're frustrated, you're thinking of past situation, uh, don't worry about having the opportunity to backtrack if things don't turn out in your favor. Just know that you're being assertive and you're getting going after what it is you want. Okay? Okay, Pisces. Let's see, what do we have for Pisces? Three cards spread for the week for Pisces. What do you have to tell Pisces, Lord God? Thank you. Mm -hmm. What do you have to tell Pisces? Mm -hmm. And at the bottom of the deck, we have justice. Karmically, what is due to you will come back to you. The karmic scale, the balancing of the scales. What you felt was wrong in the past will be righted. If you did anyone wrong, know that, you know. It's got to come back around. Let's see. It could be dealing with a Libra. Knight of Wands, Will of Fortune, Nine of Swords. Very, very, very karmic here.
some of you there's a person or situation that's in and out or this this might even be a home move or, or a career move it's gonna bring you a lot of fortune here um it, you have to be you act fast with this and that's why maybe it's bringing you a lot of anxiety home move relationship move it, it's just a fast move into what's really good for you and what like I said, what was wrong in the past will be righted. You'll get some justice here. Things are turning in your favor by way of you shifting quickly, um, making a big, fast, dynamic shift in your energy, in your um, your relationship. Let's see. Let's get an angel answers card. This is very good. Some of you are moving. Some of you are moving jobs. Some of you are moving away from a relationship. Some of you, your fortune is tied to maybe in Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It's up to you. Because you have to make this move. It's causing a lot of anxiety, sleepless and restless nights. Get some in. You might have low energy here too. Get some blood work done. It looks like if it is a health issue, it's going to turn out in your favor. You're gonna. It's gonna all, you know, really rectify itself for the better. Yeah. Okay. So I hope that this reading resonated with you, Pisces. On to Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. And we're back for your reading. Let's see. What do you have to tell Scorpio for this week? The week of the 26th through the 2nd of September. The bottom of the deck, the five of earth. Someone's feeling abandoned, left out, like there's not enough resource or not enough energy, confidence in a situation. There's lack here. There's something or someone not giving, maybe with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or this could be surrounding uh, tangible material things of uh, home. Oh, I heard a raggedy home. I don't know. Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Queen of Air. Five of Air. The Magician. Scorpio, you can have air in your chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Typically, this is Gemini. It could be anyone. We've got the Magician here. Sometimes this comes up as Aquarius. Energy. I mean, it, it hell, it could be anybody. There might be some jealousy surrounding you, or just some opposition, or some interference, Scorpio. Um, there might be some heavy arguing, maybe with uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you are trying to manifest something else somewhere else. And you're trying to get yourself out of the situation. You're trying to X yourself out. There's no confidence in on the path or in the path that you're on. You want to lay down the burden of dealing with maybe a certain person, a certain situation. It may be karmic. It may you may feel like you're tied to this person. You may feel as if um, it's codependence. You're trying to manifest a new path, Scorpio. Someone's not allow not allowing you to do it without a fight. Wait. Weight is uh, 
the angel answered. I think this situation rectifies itself because you are the magician. You've done the work. You're able to manifest and to move in the in the in the the realm or the area that you want to move into. You're cutting out things that no longer serve you. You're, I mean, it's a battle. It's a battle that no one wins here. But it's you're standing up for yourself, Scorpio. The advice is wait before you make the final adjustment, the final move, the final cutting away or, or exiting yourself out. If this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, all of my information is below if you need to request a personal reading, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care.